This is Hannibal from the HannibalTV.com, and I'm with WWE Hall of Famer Greg the Hammer Valentine, who I'm going to be doing a full career interview with later this month in Las Vegas, where he lives right now. But today, we are here to talk about the 350 Days movie, which is a huge uh, movie available now that uh, Greg was a part of. So, do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, your role in the movie? Well, I've been talking about 350 days till I'm blue in the face, but it's worth it, you know. Six years we've been doing this project, and I was one of the first guys they approached. And 350 really talks about 350 days in a car, 350 days on the road, the way it was in the 70s, 80s, and early 90s. And uh, it's, a, it's a great... It's a great expose, or it's a, it's a great documentary of what really, really happened in those days. Now, Evan Ginsberg was one of the associate producers on that. He also worked on The Wrestler. Yeah. A lot of people say that the Mickey Rourke character was partly based on you. Did you ever hear about that? I did hear that, and it could have been because Aronofsky, well, I, t I talked to him in Brooklyn before he started doing the movie, then he invited me down to Miami, and I met Mickey Rourke, and I gave him some of my DVDs, uh, and my wrestling matches and stuff. And yeah, so a lot of people, uh, the only thing is I never lived in a trailer, so <laughs> but thank God I didn't have to go that route. But uh, yeah, I, I, I've been approached, a lot of people said that uh, his character reminded uh, uh, reminded them of me, you know. So I guess that's a compliment. And you're doing great these days, and your old partner, Rhythm and Blues Honky Tonk Man, was just inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Do you have anything to say about that? Well, I think it's about time. He definitely deserves, deserves it. And my other partner, Bruce Beefcake. That's so, right. So, two of my partners were inducted last night, and they all deserved it. They, you know, I went in 15 years ago, so 15 years later, they came into the Hall of Fame. But they definitely deserve it. I was happy for both of them. And you actually won uh, an award last year at the Cauliflower Alley Club, so that's another uh, exclusive uh, Hall of Fame that you're a part of as well. Yes, and then also this ring right here, the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame in, in Wichita, Wichita, Wichita Falls, Texas, which used to be in Albany, New York. That was, you know, that was a thrill too because this is the Hall of Fame that my my father Johnny Valentine is also a part of so well Johnny Valentine's one of my favorite wrestlers and we're going to get into great detail about him uh, in our interview yeah, so I'm looking forward there's to a that. lot there's a lot there <laughs> about my dad he was, he was great Nobbs actually told me this story recently about uh, his first dinner at, at the house with your dad where your dad <laughs> slipped laxatives into uh, the chili or whatever he was cooking and he messed up his Cadillac on the way home yeah he had this Cadillac uh, blue baby blue powder blue Cadillac and all of a sudden an eruption happened and uh, and you know he married my wife's sister but they weren't married yet so that was a heck of a send off and he had to, <laughs> he had to get out of the car and had a major blowout so you know I my dad denies it you know, I mean, he's passed away now, but up to his dying day, he denied that he, but he never admitted to too many of his ribs, but he was a master of a lot of ribs. We could go into that later. Definitely. Well, 350 days, search it on Google. I think it's on Amazon. It's everywhere. It's well worth getting. Star Greg Valentine. All right. Nice to see you again. Thank you, Helen. Thank you.